hello guys welcome back in this video let's have a look on the history brush tool so here we got a image which is a black and white image I've downloaded it from the pexels.com so we have the history brush tool in the toolbox if you could click here and then see you got the history brush tool and we have a history panel here which you can open from this particular icon or you can go to windows and then choose the history there so before going into the deep uh, into the history brush tool we need to explore what is history and then how to use the history brush tool by retrieving the history back in time so we have this uh, photograph and uh, whatever you do here i mean you modify to this image is stored in the history palette here let's say if i go to the image adjustments and then say hue saturation and then you colorize it okay like that and that's history now if i go to the image curves modify that that's a history or take a brush paint it over that's a history okay so if you want to go back in time and paint back that particular history let's say i'm using the history brush tool and then it's a normal brush where you can increase or decrease the brush size and then when you start painting it what you are doing is you are bringing back that image which was back in time of the history now which part of the history is brought back is really important so what i'm going to do is i'm going to store different levels of histories like this one hue saturation or this one the curves or this one the auto contrast or the brush tool okay as a snapshot and it is not really necessary to do that but saving them as snapshot will always be a better way so to store that i need to go to the curves okay uh, sorry the hue saturation and then click this camera button which stores it as a snapshot there then you got uh, brushes store it as a snapshot okay then curves stories that as a snapshot so you got all that history right so if uh, you could see there is a brush icon here make sure that you choose the history brush tool and then when you start painting you are bringing that snapshot or that level of history back okay and let's say if you click this one okay you bring that history back like that okay so you can bring any level of the history back in time and then modify so i'm opening back the file i've opened back the file here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose a different color correction tool so right now i'm going to use hue saturation okay colorize it and then slightly saturate that to like this fine and uh, what I've done is I'm, I've tried to colorize the shirt here. Fine. And then you can click a snapshot for it. Go back to history. Image. Adjustments. I'm going to use uh, curves. Okay. And then, sorry, go to the blue. Reduce the blue. That brings up nice skin tone. And I reduce the green also that's much better and then shadow regions i want it to be reddish so i go to the red bring the reds to be back like that and slightly green uh, so that i get that natural skin tone and then uh, click that as a snapshot back okay now go to the black and white image then you can choose uh, hue saturation colorize and then I'm coloring that uh, eyes, okay? And then keeping it nice brown there. And then take it as a snapshot. Now, I go to the first image. And when I'm doing this colorizing, I can creep, paint this into a new layer. That will be greatly useful to uh, use that masking tools, okay? 
so I'm just uh, painting the whole skin tones like that with that now uh, you can generally zoom it take a normal brush select this layer layer mask and then start uh, fixing things at high precision okay I'm just being very uh, rough here okay now I've got this uh, layer uh, painted now what I can do is I can just take a new layer and then click this snapshot choose the history brush tool and start painting the shirt okay so again uh, while you are while you're painting it you can maybe paint it very rough and then apply layer mask and start fixing with high precision. Okay apply layer mask and then paint take the brush tool and then So should able to see I'm coloring this photograph real quick and then I can just click this one okay and then take the history brush tool and then take a new layer for painting and then start painting that ice. <laughs> 